this is one of my best scalping strategy using three free trading view indicators okay when it comes to scalping the five minutes time frame the 15 minutes time frame and even the one minute time frame and in this video tutorial i'm going to walk you step by step on how to set up these indicators okay this free trading view indicators and how to actually use it to start scalping if you want to scalp the crypto market the forest market the stock market whatever market you want to trade okay these indicators work very well for any of this market you want to trade but majorly i do crypto and this has actually given me a lot of return this is actually a trade that i took okay few minutes before making this video and this trade actually played out very well so i'm going to walk you step by step on how to set up this scalping strategy and how you can best use this to actually start making some money for yourself on a daily basis scalping the market all right so what i ask in return is just to give this video a like and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and when you subscribe hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified each time i share my strategies on the channel all right so basically the way this strategy work is whenever these candlesticks are trading above this indicator okay and then we'll get a sell signal here okay whenever we get this um short entry signal all right we want to wait to enter the market all right um whenever this other indicator here proves that there is a momentum in the market so we'll just enter the market okay put our stop loss at the previous swing okay and then target normally when it comes to scalping okay my target is always a one to five risk reward ratio okay i do one to two to one to five risk reward ratio now when i see that there is a strong momentum in the market and the market is still going in my favor what i can do is to be dynamic in setting up my trailing my 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 stop loss okay so i can trail the market and follow the market until i get um a good profit which is just what you see here, okay 1.5 would have been somewhere around here okay for the risk reward issue would have been somewhere around there so when i saw the opportunity i had to adjust my stop loss okay to my entering point all right and then adjusted the take profit and i followed the market and this actually played out very well all right so basically um we are using three free indicators to actually do the scalping strategy now let me show you how to set up these indicators and how to actually apply it to your trading view account and start using it to take your trades okay so once again if you are getting any value from the video give it a thumbs up and let's proceed to setting up the indicators now once you open up your trading view account the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and select the time frame on, on which you want to trade as i said earlier this setup can be used both for swing trading and you know for scalping the market and scalping can be used on the one minute five minutes 15 minutes time frame it all depends on what you want okay you select the time frame after that you go ahead and then add up this indicator so the first indicator we'll be adding up here is once you open up come to the trading view indicator go ahead and type in vwap okay once you type in vwap you want to go ahead and select this volume weighted average price indicator so click on it to add it up to the chart okay now once you add up this indicator to the chart this is what the indicator looks like okay so we have you know this upper limit line and the lower limit line okay um represented with this green and then we have the volume weighted um in the line which is um the one that is indicated with this um blue line here in the middle okay so what we do is whenever the market is trading in between this volume weighted line here, which is the blue line you're saying here it means that the market is in a consolidation period okay so the market is consolidating so we don't do anything right now okay whenever the market is trading just like you're seeing here okay when it is trading in between this blue line here, we don't do anything so we we'll only wait for when the market is over but now personally how i use this indicator is the upper um, band here or the upper limit line here which is the green one whenever the market trades above it okay i look for an opportunity to sell with the next indicator that i'm going to add okay then when it is trading below this other lower line here i look for an opportunity to buy all right then when the market is just consolidating within the blue line here in the middle you don't do anything okay so we'll only wait for crossover between these two blue line um green lines here okay so to add up the next indicator go to the training view indicator and here you are going to type the total trade channel indicator okay this first one here you can go ahead and favorite this so total trade channels indicator which um you see here t u t c i this is the one we're going to use so click on it to add it up to the chart 
now after adding this to the chart this is what our chart now looks like okay so the chart is so messy right now we're going to do some settings or some changes into this indicator so um i'll go ahead and click on the setting icon for this particular indicator so once i click on the setting icon what you want to do is to make sure that you uncheck all of this all right this is what i how i personally use this indicator so uncheck all of this i'm going i'm, I'm just going to leave the long and you know short um signal option okay so i want to check everything here and then leave just the short and long signal okay so what i'm, I'm on the style option okay i've unchecked everything and here i'm only left with the long and short signal option okay then when you come to the input option all right the entry length here by default is 20 all right so you go ahead and change it to 12 this is what has worked for me okay so just go ahead and change it to 12 and then you can go ahead and click on okay all right so to add the next indicator go to the indicator tab click on it and here on the search bar you want to go ahead and type in wada ata okay the wada ata explosion indicator is the one we're going to use so go ahead and favorite this and then click on it to add it up to the chart so to make some changes into this indicator just go over over it and click on the setting icon here and here you just go to the style option okay nothing to be done on the input go to the style option and i want to disable this dead zone line here okay just make sure that you disable that and for the explosion line i want to make it white and then make it a bit bolder okay make the opacity 100 percent okay then for the other indicators for the downtrend the uptrend i want to go ahead and reduce the opacity to around 30 okay so just reduce this to around 30 or so all right so after that i want to equally reduce the opacity for this other one just type 30 here and we are good okay so this is all the settings we need to do and then go ahead and click on okay all right. now the way we use the combination of these three indicators is very simple okay so first we get a signal from the total channel indicator okay which is the short entry or long entry signals okay whenever we get the signals we want to make sure that the candlesticks are trading above the volume weighted indicator and then we want to get a confirmation from the wada ata explosion indicator all right so for cell entries okay when we get a short entry here you want to make sure that the candlesticks are trading above the volume weighted indicator all right and then there should be a red candle for cell entry okay please pay attention to this there should be a red candle printed on the wada ata explosion okay and the candlestick should be above this line here the explosion line okay which is this white line here so whenever you see this and you know the red candlesticks is above the explosion line you go ahead and enter so we got this cell entry here okay on this candle and you can see that the um water at a explosion okay the candlestick there has printed red okay it has printed red and the red is above the explosion line so we'll go ahead and take this signal okay so my entry for this trade will be on this next candle here all right now for your take profit you want to always set the risk reward ratio to 1.5 or whenever the market keep going in your direction then you would have just traded the market and that would have been a winning trade okay so if i've said 1.5 then this would have been a winning trade and the next trade will be the signal we got here okay we got another signal somewhere around there and then you see that the water atta explosion um it has actually printed a red candle which is above the explosion line okay and you equally target 1.5 and that would have been a winning trade okay so once again the rules for entering a short trade is first we want to get a sell signal or a short entrance signal from the total channel indicator okay and then once we get that signal we want to confirm that with the um, volume weighted indicator that the candlesticks are trading above the volume weighted indicator once the candlesticks is trading above the volume weighted indicator the next thing is to confirm that with the water at explosion okay so for a sell signal these candles are trading above the volume weighted indicator and then the water at explosion has printed a red candle and that candle is above the explosion line then we'll go ahead and take that trade the same thing happens on this signal here okay the water at um, has a printed a red candle which is above the explosion line then this has printed and currently though it is not above this but it has actually touched 
the upper limit of uh, line of this volume weighted so i would have taken this trade personally now for a long signal okay for a buy signal what we want to do is first we'll make sure that the candlesticks are trading okay um either outside of this lower limit for the from, from the volume weighted indicator okay or within this um, um lower limit line here of the volume weighted indicator so once this happened the next thing is to wait to get um a long entry from the total channel indicator once we get that we want to confirm that with the water ATA indicator that it is printing a green candle and the green candle must be above okay must be you know above the um the um explosion line here okay so when this happened we we'll go ahead and take a trade and this would have been a winning trade so in summary for a long trade okay what you want to do for a long trade let me just take this out of the screen so i explain this better for you what you want to do for a long trade first we want to wait for the candlestick to trade below okay or within this lower limit of the volume weighted indicator once it is traded uh, below or within this green line here of the volume weighted indicator the next thing we want to do is to wait for the total channel to give us an entry okay a long entry now whenever the candlesticks are trading below the volume weighted indicator you are looking for only buy signals and when they are trading above the volume weighted indicator okay you are looking for only sell signals all right and the sell signals comes from the total channel indicator okay and then you want to confirm this sell signal by making sure that for buy signals that the water um, explosion indicator is printing green candle and the candle is above this white line here, which is the explosion line okay then for sell signals okay you want to make sure that the wadata okay you confirm that with the wadata make sure that the wadata is printing red candle and the candle should be above the explosion line okay so that is basically how you use this indicator if there is anything you are confused with you can always use the comment section and if you want to learn more you can join my telegram group the link to join the telegram group will be in the video description so that is it for this video once again give the video a thumbs up if you have gained any value subscribe to the channel if you are new and then hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and i'll see you in the next video